Welcome to the second video on Dark Cinema Recaps. Please like and comment below to choose the next recap. Pick comment gets a shout out. Due to the graphic nature of this video, we're only using stills. Or Big Daddy YouTube gets a sinful erection. Today we're looking at Art the Clown's first major outing. This Ronald McDonald with depression makes Pennywise look like a skid mark in Jeffrey Dahmer's toilet. A man is watching a small TV where Monica Brown, a talk show host, interviews a severely disfigured woman, the sole survivor of a massacre that took place the previous Halloween. Brown mentions that the body of the killer, known only as Art the Clown, disappeared from the morgue, suggesting he is still alive. However, the disfigured woman insists she saw him die. The man, revealed to be Art the Clown, furiously kicks the TV and fills a garbage bag with bladed objects. After the interview, Monica talks to her partner on the phone and makes disparaging remarks about the interviewee because of her appearance. The disfigured woman, who'd been eavesdropping, attacks Monica and gouges out her eyes, laughing maniacally. On Halloween night, two friends, Tara and Dawn, leave a Halloween party and encounter Art the Clown. He follows them into a pizzeria and makes advances at Tara, unnerving her. He is soon after roughly escorted from the premises by the restaurant owner for smearing his feces over the bathroom walls, like a just-stop oil protester who actually followed through with something. The girls leave the pizzeria to discover that one of Dawn's car tires has been slashed, and Tara calls her sister Vicky to come pick him up. Meanwhile, Art returns to the pizzeria, where he mutilates and kills the two workers. While waiting, Tara asks a pest control worker, Mike, if she can enter the derelict apartment building he's working in to use the restroom. Inside, she runs into the cat lady, a deluded squatter who believes the doll she carries is her infant child, because Art's the weird one. Art enters Dawn's car and abducts her. Tara then encounters Art inside the apartment building, where he gives chase and attacks her with a scalpel. He eventually subdues her, rendering her unconscious with a sedative, nothing quite beats surprise sex after all. Tara awakens bound to a chair, and Art reveals Dawn, suspended upside down. He forces Tara to watch as he saws Dawn in half with a hacksaw, still a better love story than Twilight. Tara escapes and batters Art with a 2x4, but he produces a gun and shoots her to death. The cat lady witnesses this and seeks out Mike, begging him to call the police, only for him to dismiss her as insane. Art stalks Mike and knocks him unconscious with a hammer. The cat lady then discovers Art cradling her doll, and in a plea for the return of her child, she tries to show motherly compassion to Art by cradling him. Vicky arrives to take Tara and Dawn home but is lured into the basement by Art. There, she discovers Art, who has severely mutilated the cat lady and is wearing her scalp and breasts, ain't no cosplay, like an Art the Clown cosplay. He chases her and corners her into a locker, but turns his attention to Mike's co-worker arriving at the building. After ambushing and decapitating him, Art continues to chase Vicky. She manages to escape him but stops to grieve upon finding her sister's corpse, lol. Art catches up to her and attacks her with a makeshift cat o' nine tails, but Mike, having recovered, arrives and knocks Art unconscious. The two flee and call 911, but Art appears and overpowers Mike, stomping on his head repeatedly and killing turning his face into a dirty donna kebab. Vicky retreats into a garage, but Art rams through her back door and runs her over with a pickup truck, incapacitating her. As she lies unconscious, Art begins to eat her face, forever the romantic. The police finally arrive, but Art shoots himself inside his mouth with a pistol before he can be apprehended. The officers discover Vicky is still alive. Art's body is taken to a morgue, along with the bodies of his deceased victims. When the medical examiner unzips Art's body bag, Art reanimates and strangles him to death. One year later, Vicky is released from the hospital after rehabilitation from the injuries inflicted by Art. She is revealed to be the severely disfigured woman from the film's opening scene and thus the events of the entire movie took place that previous year. 